What up, what up? Winbush here with the third and final part of the series. Now in the last two videos, we put together a scene using Omega Scans, we textured everything up in Redshift, and then we brought in X Particles, created the water flow, we have the particles interacting with our scene, rendered that out with Redshift, and now we're ready to composite everything in After Effects. And so without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so to get started, I'm gonna come over in my project window, Hit left trick or left control I and look for that AEC file I was talking about. Let me drag these out. Here we go. Water Creek AEC. Click import. And now you see all of our stuff over here on the left hand side. It gave me a compositing window. I have my puzzle mats and my reflections. And I have my main render here. So I'm going to drag that up, just consolidate it in a little bit. I'm going to delete these two because I just want to show you guys the process. So I'm going to start by bringing in my base layer. And this is what it looks like rendered out from Cinema 4D. Okay. So now I want to bring in my puzzle mat underneath that. I'm going to make this invisible. So now we can see our puzzle mat. And that's what that looks like. Now I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to go back to my based here and then my effects and presets I'm gonna just type in set because I'm gonna pull in the set mat and you can see over here now we have take from mat layer and I'm gonna pick my puzzle mat layer and then use for mat this is gonna be where our RGB comes in so I'm gonna start with my red channel I'm gonna turn this color red just for the heck of it so I know what's what and then I'll start to play this through. It looks like that's our white water. That's our foam particles that came through. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in another layer. I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna do that again. Bring set mat. Have my, my puzzle mat. And then this time I'm gonna go green. And the think green is our geometry there. Yeah, so green is our rocks and everything. And I can actually just um, select my layer, hit Control D, and that duplicates it. I'm gonna make this one blue because I know that's what one we're gonna pick. Then I go to my set mat, come down to blue channel, and now we should have all three of our elements in there. And from here, it's pretty much just you know doing our beauty. So I'm gonna go to my effects and presets. I'm a uh, Add some levels to my base layer, just darken it down a tad bit. So I'm gonna drag this middle piece down a little bit. And then same thing with the water. Just gonna drag that down just a tad bit. If you really wanted to, you can add some hue to there. So I'm gonna add hue and saturation. Um, let's see. I'm not going to solo this out so we can see it. We can add little hints of blue in there maybe. Yeah, I can do that. And then for our white water, I'm going to go back to levels. Level this down a little bit. And this is just all on your personal preference. Actually, I'm going to take this hue and satch off. It doesn't look too great. But on this, to be able to have it look like how I did in my example, there's this third party plugin called Roll Smart Motion Blur. So I type in RSMB and that adds motion blur depending on the motion of your, your, um, your animation there. And I, I jacked my blur amount up way high. And it looks better when it's playing. So I think I did about three maybe. And then the great thing about Real Smart Motion Blur, it is render intensive, but will add more render time. But you could use your GPU here. So where it says use GPU, you could put on if GPU um, supported, CPU otherwise, but I have four GPUs in here. So I'm gonna just click on and that helps it render out a little bit faster. And then my water layer, same thing. I'm gonna add a little bit of real smart motion blur to it. Put my GPU on for my blur amount, maybe make it up to one. And then that's basically how I built the scene. 
And then from there, I can add, I can right click in my blank area down here under my timeline, go to new, add adjustment layer. You know, you can add a, a vignette around the side that has a red giant misfire vignette, but there's also a vignette built in the After Effects. You know, add a little vignette on the siding there. If you want, um, if you have like magic bullet looks, you can add that type of stuff in as well. So go to looks, magic bullet looks, click on edit. And this is just all, uh, you know, little details afterwards. So this one looks kind of cool to do a tune push. The uh, impulse four way, big duo tone, shadow detail. That's the one I actually used. I'll pull out the shadows a little bit in there. And that's basically how I built that scene there. So from there, you know, it depends how much polish you want to put into it. You can add little particulates floating throughout the scene. Um, you can add, you know, a little bit of camera motion, all that fun stuff. But that's the basic breakdown of how I built that scene. Again, thank all you guys for watching this series. And thank you for everybody that reached out to me when they saw the initial video. It really meant a lot to get a positive response and a lot of people asking me questions. Subscribe to my channel, of course. Leave me a comment below if you have any questions. If you have any ideas for other tutorials, please drop me a line. I'm always looking for new stuff to do and add and build to my channel. And so, um, yeah, until next time, thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you later.